Hey, this is Edit Stacy. Um, I have had and been told of a lot of issues that I had with my vlog from um, the So Frugal and what happened. And I'll just pop this in before my entire video starts because I'm going to re input the whole thing. So sorry if you're going to watch this twice. But um, I literally lost it. I I didn't lose it because I'm not nuts. But um, so I downloaded it come 11 o'clock at night when I was going to upload it to um, my YouTube. It said, <coughs> excuse me, it said, nice it, thank you, it said it didn't format in the right thing. So I went back in, did it again, said it didn't format it, opened it up. It said, do you want to open, close it in the wrong thing? Do you want to bring back up what you did the night before? And I said, no, because I'm an idiot. Lost my entire work. That was early this morning. Then I said to Samuel, help. And he said, have you not got that on autosave? Next minute, vroom, 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 as, as the teens of this era can do, said, um, yep, okay, I pulled it up. He said, but go through it, make sure it's right. I, of course, didn't. And I've had people come back to me and say, music played the whole way. You didn't put up the pictures you said you were going to put up. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. This happened. That happened. Oh, and I don't, I'm not, I'm glad people told me because I would have been oblivious to the entire thing. But I'm going to re-put it all in this way. You're going to have the pictures as I talk about them. And you won't think I'm absolutely mental. So, um... I'm going to add this to my vlog now and hope that I can put this in and not stuff up the entire thing. So it's all sorted at the minute. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, so Samuel found my work that I lost. So thank you, Samuel. Um, Chris couldn't find it because he was running out the door this morning, spent the day with mum and at the home show, but I'm so sorry for the absolute mess up that that vlog, that, that you know, as I said to mum, mum, it's an important vlog, if it was just something that I was doing, fine, I wouldn't care as much and I would say, okay, well, I'd go through it the next day and take my time with it, but this was something I promised that I would have out on the 21st. It's now the evening of the 22nd in New Zealand, which is the wee hours of the 22nd in most other countries. So apologies. Let's get this sorted. Enjoy. Thanks. Hi, I'm Stacey J, and this is my studio. I am here today to talk to you about So Frugal. Now, So Frugal is started by, um, well, I don't know how, as you know, I haven't even been vlogging for a year. So this is my first so frugal. This is my first time to say the word, apparently. Um, and it is by, um, we've got it by, oh, I had the names down, is <laughs> the Yorkshire So Girls. And that's, uh, So Girl, that's um, Ruan. And then we've got Frugalism, Anna, Frugalizama. That um, is really hard for me to say. So anyway, I have got lots and lots of stuff to show you guys and um, talk to you guys about. Now, the idea of So Frugal is to, and I'll stand over here because up here I'm going to put stuffs. Um, so Frugal is when you um, take a free pattern. The pattern must be free. It can't be like in a book that you might have to purchase to get the free um, pattern but it is to um it's got to be free to the world now i have heard there are some places that do free this month or buy this and get this free this month so there are a few i'll actually name the one i will be getting free with some purchases that i get from style like in a little bit minute in a little minute okay so first of all I found, um, I've had this pattern for a very, very long time, and I'll put up the picture of the actual, um, I'm really not coordinated at the minute, because, um, well, let me just tell you what I'm wearing, because I'm all over the show already, and I know there's been 
20 people before me, well, probably double that because there's up to two to three people uh, doing vlogs on this um, per day in the little little group that we have going and rolling on. So it's a rolling pro progression. And um, <clears throat> and I want to tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a self-drafted top that I made out of some rayon fabric. Okay, obviously it's cut on the bias, so that, it, obviously. Okay, sorry, it is cut on the bias, so it goes around the girls and puts on. There's no um, openings anywhere else bar my neck uh, in the arms and the body, because then if I didn't have openings there, I wouldn't get it on. So, and I just um, designed it from a pattern of, um, of a... <sighs> A ready to wear I had and then I expanded that into a ready to wear with sleeves with knit fabric um, and then I also had um, I wanted to wear it make it in a, in a cotton so I made it with this frown I'm not a big Aztec kind of girl um, so pretty happy with that and because I'm all about the sleeves so I made some nice little I just put a little two bars two um, with a split in the center up there and I did it on the sides as well right now this is more important. Literally, I've just walked in. I've had my nails done. I'm not really a blue nail kind of girl, but I am today. So I've got on, I'll put that not so far down. I've got on the peppermint wide, wide leg pants. I know they have been mentioned on more than one. I made them earlier this month so I could show you what they look like. I made mine down to the ground. I am not three quarter length height. So I added 15 centimetres to the bottom of mine and I done did I done I did a 10 centimetre hem on the bottom of mine. My <laughs> they're all overlocked in red to add a little bit of funky to my monkey. And I also took um, the sway back, those that asked for me to teach the sway back, I did the sway back in the back there. So there's no excess fabric. Okay, so it goes straight across. And yeah, it's got nice little pockets there okay so and it's quite a nice it's a nice fit it was very easy to make very um <sighs> granted i've been sewing for 33 years but it was um i found it quite good to make and i just i'm really digging the wide leg pants hate them with these shoes just saying and about the nails check it out check it out Ta -da! can't see my hands my nails anyway so so that's what i'm wearing now so one of the first things i want to bring up is the peppermint pants that are um from in the fold i came across this pattern a very long time ago like the first time i've had this pattern it was all a4 and then i refound it and got it printed out in a0 um i sent a copy to karina watch this space and um from karina's uh, Karina Som, which is which actually stands for Karina Sewing Room, um, and I will put up some pictures of the original length pants that are there, and I just I think it's nice with a wide leg pant they have to be firmer up the top, um, maybe a little less firm but that's my own fault, and um, but they just and I've just pulled them up in um, some fabric I had lying around I had like ten meters of it, so I thought I'll make something out of this and um i like a bright leg i think having bright going on down the bottom i think it you know it leaves you to wear whatever you want up the top and blue goes with everything so apparently not this though i mean it's looking disaster look at it in the mirror see it disaster it's like that's not the pants i had on before i started this vlog it's been quite the day a turnaround of a day and while I just get started, I'm going to bring up the rules. I've said most of the rules, but I have some rules that I want to bring up. Okay. So again, this is uh, hashtag so frugal 24. You choose your free pattern. You choose fabric from your stash. You make your garment in the month of March. And then you reveal the garment on the 31st of March on Instagram. And you are to hashtag in, oops, um, Yorkshire Sew Girls and Frigga, <clears throat> Frigalism. I'm so sorry. My brain's breaking up in 50 different ways. I've got a gal in there. Frigal. Anyway, so um, not good with big words. So I'm going to put that up there and you can have a look at that. And um, it'll be there, right there. There. Okay. And what else did I want to say about it? 
So I will be adding my pants into it because I made them in March, which I'm quite happy about. Okay, so and I said that there'll be two to three people per day actually doing the cycle of what they could be doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, besides the pants, I've decided to go through for um, each item that is required when you go out especially in winter because I've got a coat in there. So um, just be, while I'm on the subject of who's on today as well, um, you might make more sense from Adam Sews and also Sewing with Deb. They'll be in, linked in my um, description. And tomorrow we'll have notes from the sewing room and so very Laura again in the description. And yesterday we had the baker that sews and Devon Thread Tails, okay? So go and have a look to see what they're doing. De um, Devon Thread Tiles was doing something really awesome, talking about um, taking her patterns direct from ready to wear or finding out um, how to draft your own pattern, like I did with my top here. Okay, Ooh, just smack myself in the head with something. Okay, you can tell that I'm very nervous because I, I feel very when I do these. Okay, there are lots and lots of prizes, um, and some of the prizes that we have are from Becky's Sewing Studio, um, the Cloth Edict, Size Me, Rainbow Fabrics, Sew and Sew, Inspired Leather, Just Sews, uh, Crafty Sew Room, Liza Mac Fabrics, Mason Fur, um, and they're all out of order that I got them on. Um, the Speaky Seamstress, Winter Wear Designs, Stash Hub, Stitch Craft, UK, Adam Sews, First for Fabric, um, The Dahlia Society from Australia. They've even popped in a little bit. Crafty Clyde, Fabuloso. Oh, that is so neat. <coughs> it's not the first time I've read this. Uh, we've got Vicky Sews, Jazz and Well. That's um, um, from Bex, from what Bex Sews. Okay, we, we know her. In a Haystack. Brunella Fabrics, True Bias, Jenny Stitches, M&M, &M, Felicity Fabrics, Little Cheeky Rose, uh, Little Rose, Rosy Cheeks, So House 7, and I think I said Vicky Sews and Pattern Pouch Nest. Okay, so they are, they are a lot of, yep, that's all I got. Um, they are a lot of it, and you would have seen them come up here. I just went through the pages. Um, now what I want to do is I'm going to show you the pictures of what I am, and I will put the photos up while I talk about what I wanted when I find the beginning. Right, so the first thing I've talked about is the peppermint pants. Okay, and you've seen the pictures of that. The next is I went to, on good um, advisement from one of my lovely viewers, Georgie, um, oh, shot through to, and I have got free patterns from there before, I shot through to um, mood um, socialist patterns. Okay, and I came across this awesome, awesome um, coverall set. Um, I just, so... Vintage. I made one that was blue once and I went to the officer's mess on camp and it was a 1970s one. It was blue and it was like um, maybe a bit paler than my pants. Okay, maybe a bit paler than that. And I got called a smurf, which smurf it. I don't mind. Um, but this one, I love the green. I love the real mechanical side of it. The waistband that goes around, it's actually a little bit below the waist, which is awesome for me because I don't have a waist. Well, I do. It's underneath my bust, like literally that far. So this would actually um, possibly elongate my body, which would be good. Um, and it's got the boot leg that comes down to it and I just I just think it's really good down it's got the waistband around the back it's got the buttons there that's only me come here dogs come here cat flap come here come here dogs come here name. Well, it is its new name so it's got the lovely collar um I just I really really like this I'm not a big wearer of onesies um you know, it's not a onesie. I know it's not a onesie. Um, I never really know what to call them. There's so many names for these. Um, I found a really nice word, but of course, you know, the pause is pause that from my brain. Um, if I think of the word, I'll put it down here. But I really love them, and I so admire everyone that seems to be making them. But I just, the struggle, man, when you go to the toilet, the struggle is real. 
and I just did and it, so I'm getting that one I'm gonna make that I won't make that I don't think I'm gonna have time I've got like 11 days I'm also doing um so yellow so that is gorgeous the next one I've got is again another moods uh, design fabric one um and it is a boxy shirt Okay, it's, um, I just recently bought one off Stylark that's very similar to this, but it's got a camp collar. Um, it's got the um, yoke at the back. It's got the nice little pleat down the back um, and just the off the drop, sh a drop shoulder. Okay, it's kind of boxy. You think about wearing it um, in a, like a rayon, something really soft and floaty. Awesome uh, down the beach wearing your bikini bottoms and putting one of those over the top um i don't go to the beach it's like winter here all the time and and chris is coming to help me do this whole thing that's a really full glass dude oh it was cheers. an accident okay right cheers cheers um so um oh, man. so um i like the boxy the boxiness of the shirt leave it there the boxiness of the shirt um it's a, it's a unisex one in in the words of um oh you're going now are you one second right off you go um in the words of joey from friends a un you and i sex okay it's a unisex top you can make it lower with the little scoops and um or you can make it shorter uh, you know, you know, it's giving me 1950 beach vibes. Seriously, as I can imagine, the boys, you know, with their little and their little tight shorts they used to wear, and the surfboards, and you know, let's go surfing now. Everybody's there. I'm looking for a tissue to wipe up the spillage. I don't want to have red wine on my top. So, <sighs> remind me to tell you about the funny story that happened today. Okay, it sort of sent me in a bit of a bit of a really really panic. Can laugh about it slightly now, but deadly serious. It just sent me backwards, like mentally. Right, the third one is known as a. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten the name of it. It's a. It's a coat. It's a pea. I'll write it down the bottom but again it's from mood um i think it it's structured so beautifully i love the big collar it's not big like this but it's like it's and it's it's double breasted um not a, always a fave for girls with um large breasts but i really like this and it's got like two of the two pockets there that are really awesome and then you've got you got the vent at the back and you've got like so on cuffs and you've got um the well pockets also as a pocket but the little um yeah i just oh i just really like it i think it's really good this is this is a great picture with three three sort of angles of it but lined so really good for our wellington winters i know 17 18 percent of well actually no about 40 percent of my viewers um will be coming into summer spring summer I'm not. So next one is just, I have no words. Again, it's a mood fabric, a mood, um, social, so, 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 ah, I haven't even sipped the wine, so shall. Um, I just, I just, I'm just going to put the pictures up. I love it. I love it. And I think it's done, they've done it in a denim. I could see it in a denim. Would not use the belt. I would not use the belt. Again, with my waist being so underneath my bust, I wouldn't use the belt. I would have the belt and the loops, but I would actually tie it behind my back. Okay, and that would give uh, some form of, I don't know, that I dent in slightly. But it's got the raglan sleeve. Again, an easy collar to slip in. It's got a yoke with the raglan sleeve, which is fandedly tastic and then it's got the buttons down the front oh it's just i just melted when i saw this actual jacket so we've got the peppermint pants oh, i've got one more i do have one more this is the one i first started on oh oh yeah this one's called the salute 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 cowl neck blouse what struck me about this was i don't know i don't know how many times you see me wearing a cowl neck i love a cowl neck Okay, cow necks to me 
are very flattering. Um, depends on the depth of the cow and tied across the bust. It just goes down, it forms that V without forming a V neck. It's soft and, and floaty about it, you know. Um, and I know that having the asymmetrical a bottom of it would make my dad turn, but um, he can't say nothing to me now. So it's straight across the back. I love the, a, uh, the, the V that comes down slightly to the right-hand side thigh. Um, I, I like that. I just think that's just given it a bit of, um, well, you know, it could hide a multiple of sins. It really could. And there's a multiple of sins going on down here. And the two style of, of um, sleeves, I think I would be having a, a wide elastic. Okay, not that wide because that's really wide. A wide elastic in the end of those and ballooning those right out. I really love that. Um, and if I can find out how to do it, I'm going to put a speed up of me actually putting that um, pattern together because free is beautiful. Excuse me. I love a good free thing. And um, it's free, but you just have to build it. And I did. And unfortunately, I videoed it in real time. <laughs> I should not have done that at all because I'm an idiot and I should have had it on time lapse but I did not now as per the fabric well I know that I've made my pants I've done my pants for sure and with the cowl neck I I don't know what I'm going to use for fabric but all I know is that I've got a stash and a half if, if you've been following me for um well since August last year when I first came on even even any time up to before December you know if you started following me around then you would find out that I made a stupid bet which I lost and I could not buy fabric for two months which I was Good girl. And I held off that fabric purchasing. So um, I'm stubborn as well. So um, a little bit of stubbornness stopped me from actually going out and buying it. Because I told you guys, and once it's out there, it's out there. You've got to just do it. So I did it. Two months. Dry. I was very eager to go out shopping. And I sort of went to a place that was running down its old stock. So the sale was still on. But yeah. Eh and there might be some fabric in the car anyway so those are what i've got so i've got a top i've got pants um i've got a couple of jackets and that oh that gorgeous there is a there's a term i really like for those overalls um for yeah i want to say it's a dust coat but it's not a dust coat but obviously it's not a dust coat it's pants so like I said, I've come into the 21st of this month. I have, um, there are a lot of, a lot, a lot of people and I will um, attach, I would have attached the people that have come before me and that will come after me for you to go and have a look at. I wasn't sure where I got my peppermint pants from because I printed it out and I wasn't sure 100% and um but it was definitely something that i knew was free and i made them quite early this month so i've been, been hanging out waiting for me to display them a little bit but i am quite keen to get into some of the other making don't forget i want you to get onto instagram and i want you to have a look um i put your 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 frugal makes onto instagram tagging the two lovelies which are on the screen now um so that you can hopefully win one of those fantastic amazing prizes i am not sure um how many are only strictly for um the uk residents but um yeah nonetheless so this if you don't, haven't heard of any of these companies go and jump on board and have a look at them i know that um bex from what bex sews makes the the most gorgeous earrings um ever mum reckons she saw some flamingo ones but no I do, I, I have a couple of flamingos, but we all know about my fetish and flamingos. So everyone, that is what I've got. I now have to break that down. I really want to put me making that um, pattern up because cause, cause they are free. They can't, you cannot always expect them to make them. I mean, I've got other free patterns, but those are just really grab, grab me this time. And I think, um, yeah, definitely want to 
put that out there for you guys okay so um i hope there was a help i really i keep staring at I've, I've got the ipad there so i had stuff to work off before i popped it on the screen um i really love that top yeah so hope i was a help um and excuse my coordination with my clothing <laughs> mm. um let me tell you see who actually yelled out don't forget to tell us what happened to you today right so today i went and got my hair cut okay i've got my hair cut today first thing this morning and then i shot over to see mum and wanted to show her the fabrics that i had grabbed from this curtain place in upper hut called the curtain store and i went in there and spoke to this lovely lady her name's helen and she works in there obviously she's just not some rando spoke to her and she was amazing um with some stuff that i got which i'll go through probably tomorrow um and i because today's about the frugal obviously except for this conversation and i went and had a cup of tea with mum and showed her what i got and i said i better go home i've got someone coming up at 11 30. um amazing amazing person um Gaylene, she used to um she used to clean my ha uh, my studio for me and when i first launched out and then she changed jobs and she's just psychotically busy you know and she's got a week off and i teased her because she was cleaning her house and i said well you know there's always a house here that needs a good clean sorry well, i was bugging me and she's okay i'll lock up on thursday i've got something you can fix for me i went oh, sweet swapsies i think i got the better deal and um not saying i fixed her thing really badly <laughs> just that i got my house cleaned oh it was amazing even forbid anyone anyway so i come home and normally the first dog that hears the car is willow wilhelmina with the big ears right here's me coming literally up two streets away which is almost we're in a circle like a anyway and Mabel's at the gate and I'm reversing down. I'm thinking, where's Willow? Where's Willow? Where's Willow? And Mabel's at the gate and I am on the phone to Chris at the time. And I said, I can't see Willow. And I'm calling for Willow. I open the gate. I'm calling for Willow. And I come back. I said, dude, dude, she's not here. She's like not here. And he's going, oh, okay, okay. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just turning the car off. And I turned the car off and I went inside. I locked the door and went inside. And the cat flap door, the one he built, was wooden. It had been ripped out like, like somebody had kicked it. It was like, and I'm like in this house and I'm like, going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And, and calling Willow, 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 where are you? Willow, Willow, Willow. And I went down to the pond thinking, you know, and they wear collars. They have to wear collars. So they don't wear collars. They don't have their tags on them. We can get fined. But, you know, they can get them caught on things. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what if something's happened? And, and oh my God, what if she's caught? And I'm going to find a dead puppy. I don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. And I'm talking, to, and at one stage I went silent. And he goes, talk to me. And I'm like, and I go, I don't know. And, and there was poo on the floor on the laundry because the laundry runs right from the back door, right up literally to the front door, but it's got a halfway door. And I'm like, Mabel, where's Willow? Mabel, where's Willow? And then I should have followed. There was a couple more poos going upstairs. And I'd already gone around the lounge once and the dining room, the kitchen. And Jackie knows our house and she knows that. Yeah, you can pretty much see everything standing in one spot, right? Because we were love an open plan. And, and then I think Mabel went up to the end of the table that was right near the door. I went, what the hell? And I went up there and there's Willow. There's Willow with a cat flap trapped around her midriff right cat flap not dog flap cat flap trapped around a metal i went oh my god oh my god so i put the phone out so i found her i found him by then chris's phone's going mental and he can't hear he's only hearing every second word and that makes me mental i can't stand it when i can't you know and they go okay oh, i just oh, yeah, i hate it anyway, so i get down and i hold it and she shimmies her body out of it she spent the next hour, two hours licking her butt, so I don't know what's happened. And Mabel scooched there, and I mean, it's not something you really want to hear, but I don't know what's going on. So now that everyone's home, I, I think we can take her. She calmed down. She she stopped licking at one stage, and I was fixing um, the thing for Gaylene, and I was just like, 
but oh my god you know you know when they really annoy you and you think oh my life would be so much easier without them and then you come home and you can't find one so my little brain went into like a panic not i just i guess i just didn't want to find her gone burger dead or stolen you know my bull would eat your arm off she wouldn't but she looks like she would so it was you know so jackie our little willow Ooh. yep that's her now she must have heard her voice my her name anyway so i'm gonna go now i hope i've done you guys good by what i've told you i'm going to put the list of people up again at the end i'll play some music and i'll put all the photos of everything i've shown you again at the end make a little musical about it song and dance so if you've had enough stop now um and then i'm going to put up all the other details to do with the actual um competition got to be in to win okay got to be in to win you can make and design your own stuff. You don't have to have a pattern follow. You can make something. Okay? Make it. But in the meantime, go and make something. Stay well, dry, warm, stay safe. Keep cool, keep on sewing, hydrate, and no regrets. Almost regretted staying for a cup of tea at Mum's today. And it hadn't been long because Chris saw the bolt around the side at a certain time. We got, we got cameras all around the house. Stacey was scared. Okay, guys, please take care. Keep watching. See my photos again of what I want to make eventually, sometime. Right? Already ordered all the patterns. Ordered free, of course. Oh, you just have to give your email over. It doesn't cost anything, okay? And all the other information about the competition and about So Frugal. Hashtag, hashtag, oh, look at me looking cool. Hashtag 24. Well, so frugal 24. I'm going now before I really botch this up. You know I don't outtake. <laughs>